Hey guys, Dylan from Noble Records coming at you with another video. We're on our way to go see a massive collection this morning. I've been trying to get to this place uh, for a couple months and finally, you know, the guy's opening it up to dealers to come look. I know he's he said he had six dealers that wanted to see it. And he said that he's not willing to let me cherry pick anything uh, that I got. It's all or nothing. So it's like thousands of records. I don't know how many. Um, and then he's got like a, a garage full of gear, like turntables, receivers, amps, stuff like that. So we're on our way to look. I'm not really one for the gear as much as the records, but if I got to get it, I'll get it. You know what I mean? So we are going to look. Wish me luck. So it took me about four or five hours to go through everything uh, on the record side and kind of when I do that evaluate kind of uh, you know the good stuff you know the stuff that will sell fast and I'll be able to get some of the money back that I'm spending um, and then you know there's still you know five ten dollar records that won't sell fast but you know people will buy them so I had to go through there evaluate all that uh, we ended up negotiating for a while and coming to an agreement that you know we both felt was fair um, so we're both happy and you know at the end of the negotiation that's kind of where you you want to land is that they feel good about selling it you feel good about buying it so now I got to pick up a truck um, I'm gonna get a U-Haul and then I've also got to get a storage unit because I don't really have a lot of space in the shop for this stuff all right y'all let's go get it day after um, yesterday pretty much loaded like I went over there in the morning looked at everything took me about four or five hours to get through everything uh, then we kind of got together on it and had to do a lot of negotiating you know uh, loaded everything up took took you know a couple hours to get everything loaded up I got all the uh, records and some of the gear but I got a lot more gear I gotta go back and get next week but my priority is kind of the records so it was a it was a busy day I was exhausted so I didn't get a chance to really start going through them and separating them out so today I'm gonna be going through them and pulling some things out and showing you some cool stuff in here that you might want to see just some of the highlights of the collection there's a lot of cool stuff Like just for instance this is one of the boxes we kind of merged two boxes together that were both half empty but like this is like it'll have a box full of beetle stuff so like this is a lot of beetle stuff um you know like white albums and all kinds of stuff you know um and then he has like this is all like random inserts and like stuff that came in certain Beatles records that you can mix, mismatch with, but I don't know what that dollar bill is. That's kind of weird. Um, but anyways, a lot of Beatles things. Um, and then, the, and then it's just like rock from there. So ACDC, you know, Aussie stuff. So that's, this is a pretty good box. A bunch of Black Sabbath. Guys, we're in the unit. I dug around a little bit, pulled some cool stuff out to show you. There's so much I can't possibly show you all of it. Um, I, I, what I usually do is I'll kind of pull out some things and show you what I'm keeping for myself because uh, I'm a collector first and foremost. Uh, and then I'll show you some of the other things that I pulled out that I think would be really good for the shop. Um, you know, kind of the way we do it, we uh, use every part of the buffalo. That's not why we have the logo, but that just came to mind. Uh, we, you know, we try not to throw anything in the trash. Um, so we try to really get records into the hands of people that'll enjoy them. So uh, kind of first part of the process is picking out a lot of really good stuff, doing a big drop, making some of that money back. And then, you know, we start putting out the, you know, $1 records, $2, $3, $5, $10, $20 records 
to kind of recoup over time. It takes a lot of time to make your money back when you buy a big collection like this. But anyway, so uh, I'm just going to take you through this anniversary. This weekend is our three year anniversary. So I'm doing a big drop, throwing a bunch of stuff out. Um, and so a lot of this stuff is coming in just right in the nick of time. It's going to be a really good drop. Got some really killer stuff. Cannot wait to show you. So anyways, we'll just get to it. Here's a few that I'm keeping for myself. Uh, here's Lee Morgan. Never seen this one out before. Um, it's on it's on VJ. So like if this was on Blue Note, it'd probably be a lot more valuable of a record. But it's a clean one. Really nice. Excited to add that to my collection. I've been a little bit serious about collecting jazz here lately. This uh, Hank Mobley, the flip. Uh, this is a promo. Pretty cool. Didn't have it. So I thought I'd add it to it. This is a Dead Kennedy Plastic Surgery Disasters. Um, it's a pretty cool one on this green wax. Uh, it's got a booklet with it. It's an Australian pressing, kind of cool. I don't have a copy of this record yet, so it seemed like a cool one to keep. Um, you guys know I'm a Zeppelin fan. This is Dread Zeppelin, just kind of a hard one to get. Um, 1990 pressing, you know, pretty cool. That's another blue note I didn't have. A Duke Pearson, how insensitive. Um, needed it. This is Bill Plummer and the Cosmic Brotherhood. Uh, this is on Impulse. It's kind of like a lounge psychedelic rock type uh, weird record, but it's pretty hard to find. Been on my list for a while. This is Toad, the Wet Sprocket, and this is autographed. Pretty rare just because it's a um, hard one to get, 90s press, you know, but um, kind, kind of nice. Uh, Gigi Grice and the Jazz Quartet on Riverside. This is been been in a grice mood lately this is one that i'm upgrading oh man i didn't realize oh so i picked it out i didn't realize it was a freaking promo nice this is a really clean copy of elf um if you don't know elf really good um early 70s hard rock uh, 1972 ryan james dio on vocals really killer stuff i already have a copy but this one's like a little bit cleaner and didn't realize it was a promo that's a win and then this james brown i got the feeling i didn't have this yet so anyways i'll show you uh really quick some uh there's a lot of mofis in here the old school 80s ones um linda ronstadt pretty i don't see that one very much you know alan parsons super tramp they get it gets better as it goes uh steely dan asia this is a really hard one to get. Cry Still is National Young. I already have it. Super hard to find. Incredible. Um, this is the notorious one with the strip on the bottom. Fleetwood Mac. Um, Donald Fagan, The Night Fly. Abbey Road. Uh, these are all super clean. A lot of them, like this one's still in the shrink. It might even still be sealed, honestly. I think it's still sealed. Uh, Magical Mystery Tour. Rubber Soul. Um, aqua lung. This is whew. King Crimson, Court of the Crimson King. Incredible, man. This is probably the best MoFi in here. Zeppelin 2. So freaking hard to get these records. And uh, this one's in the shrink. Really nice. Um, yeah. I haven't had one of those in a really long time to offer at the shop. Uh, here's some other like random stuff. He put the quads with uh, with the MoFi, so that's why it's in the stack. Steely Dan, you don't see that one very much. Born to Run, original master recording, or has to be master. Miles Davis, The Brew, Quadraphonic. Got some other stuff. Um, David Bowie, you know, the JBs. I always love to see those. Uh, Mary Wells, Sam Cooke. Anyways, some cool records that I'm going to be throwing in the shop. Uh, there's a lot more. Let me let me pull some. I've got a little stack sitting everywhere. I'm just kind of taking you through it. You know, some of this stuff is mind blowing. Some of it's not. You know, um, some of it's just regular good stuff like Black Sabbath. You know that you got to have in the shop. Uh, one of the boxes that he had was a colored vinyl, so he collected kind of some colored vinyl stuff. Uh, this is a Devo Canadian Press. Are we not men? That was kind of kind of cool. Uh, this is actually one, you're going to laugh at me, I think this is lame, but this is kind of a rare, I think it's UK. Um, I've only ever had this one other time. This is uh, Frampton Comes Alive, and it is on, it's like, hot pink vinyl. Really cool, you just don't see, you don't see it very often. It's kind of, this is one, man, this is a really cool one. I've never even seen this before. Um, this is like a limited edition, talking heads, speaking in tongues. It's in this like clear, this probably used to be like crystal clear and then over time it's faded, but um, it's like a picture disc. Really cool, like plastic cover. 
Uh, this is one, this is a uh, yellow vinyl, UK pressing of Yellow Brick Road. Yeah, really cool. This is a picture disc of Disintegration. Man, that is, that is really cool. And actually, um, this is the full album. Um, it's in this like sleeve. That's that's rare. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Um, the Cure Friday I'm in Love. It's a single. Uh, this is a really cool Cure one. So this is a, a, a UK pressing. It's a, the Cure Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me. It's a regular album, but it's a three disc. It had a bonus uh, 12 inch on orange wax. Still in the shrink with the sticker and everything. That is, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, a lot of, a lot of stuff like that. There's a couple other Cure records somewhere else. We'll get to that. Stay tuned. Um, the U2 single, Symbol Minds, Meat Loaf picture disc, some punk stuff, uh, a lot of Beatles picture discs and stuff. Uh, this is one that's kind of cool. You don't see very often. Ooh, that is cool, man. This is the Beatles Rubber Soul. Uh, this is a Taiwan pressing. It's on orange vinyl. That is that is a really cool one, man. Um, this has some like a lot of stones, uh, colored vinyl, limited edition stuff. Um, you know, this is a Beatles like Japanese something interview disc with, you know, it's a picture disc Japanese with the, the Obi and stuff. I always have people in the shop asking for the Cure. Don't see a lot of it around here. Really hard to come across, and uh, everybody loves it. So got some Cure standing on beach singles. Um, the Smiths, another one, kind of hard to get. It's her original pressings. Um, really cool that you had all these. Queen is Dead. Um, yeah, great stuff. This is, you know, this was kind of a box of, you know, 80s, 90s stuff. Some REM stuff. Um, Murmur. Uh, Dead Letter Office. Had a bunch of that. You know, all the REM stuff. Um, and then there's a few, here's a few that are sealed, the Highwaymen, uh, this is cool, Tracy Chapman, still sealed, man, with all the cool stickers and stuff, that's cool. Here's some more Cure, um, disintegration, hit on the door, great stuff, couldn't, couldn't leave it behind, uh, you know, just regular stuff that people enjoy finding at the shop. So a lot of these boxes, um, It'll be just like a box full of Beatles or a box full of Zeppelin or a box full of Grateful Dead or whatever. So I just picked some stuff to show you guys, but there's so much more in here that I'm about to go back through. Just a bunch of dead. Everybody's looking for Grateful Dead stuff. This is an amazing, amazing record. Um, yeah, Bob Weir, Ace, great stuff. I mean, that's pretty much a Grateful Dead record. Old in the Way, Jerry Garcia's Bluegrass Band, Jerry Garcia, Shakedown Street, Jerry Garcia. Terrapin Station, really nice. Skull and Roses, you know, great stuff. Just all the dead that you need, a lot of it, you know. So, um, you know, Beatles, Arbor, Soul, typical stuff. Everybody's always wanting Steely Dan, so these are like a whole box full of Steely Dan stuff. Um, you know, there's a whole box full of Stones, uh, and more Beatles stuff, Hendrix. Uh, this is one date with Elvis is kind of cool it's worth a little bit more than your average Elvis record bunch of Zeppelin stuff um, You know nothing crazy. There were no R RLs I already checked didn't find any RLs, but uh, yeah cool Stuff that is a great one man Waylon Jennings Honky Tonk Heroes That's that's one you might think Waylon Jennings is you know, that's one to look for it's epic um, You know some, some Parliament Funkadelic uh, John Prine's amazing self-titled record. Um, let's see, Otis Redding. Uh, there's a ton of Beatles, uh, you know, a ton of Black Sabbath stuff, a ton of Ozzy stuff, uh, a bunch of Judas Priest, this right here I'm going to put out. Um, Kiss, this is another one. Tough to get, Ultimate Sin. A bunch of ACDC. A lot of Beatles stuff, lots of clean white albums in here. Um, this is kind of cool. Howard Jones, it's autographed. Pretty cool. Um, Queensryche promo. 
Uh, this is an, a Doors LA woman first press with the some zap it in the mother stuff. Uh, Blind Faith, Cream. Uh, this is the UK Reaction Records. MC5. Some small faces. A really nice copy of Ogden's Nut Gone Flake. Uh, Chet Baker. It's a really nice copy of Neighborhood Children. Really rare psych record. Uh, great stuff. JB's, another JB's record. This is a kind of a rare. Uh, Zoot Sims on Riverside. Um, you know, the replacements. Great stuff, man. Uh, Lou Donaldson. Uh, here's a kind of a, a pro tip for you. These American Top 40 box sets. Look it up, they're actually worth some money. I used to see them all the time and kind of pass them over, but working on it. All right, so this is like a Holland Press um, white vinyl, copy of Dark Side of the Moon, a Van Morrison, Electric Prunes, Nina Simone, Sade, just some like 80s stuff, Gang of Four, another Tracy Chapman. This is like one of my best selling records. Like anytime I get it, everybody's wanting it. You know, some Prince, Tears for Fears, Bon Jovi, this is just 80 stuff that people love. The church seance. You know, stuff I always need. More replacement stuff. John Hartford, really good, like, bluegrass this record. Uh, some Dylan stuff. Uh, is this the, um, this is, a, I think this is a second press stereo. You know, some of those. And then there's a original mono here somewhere. Uh, yeah, this is the original mono with the uh, band inner cover. Pretty cool. The band. Uh, love the last waltz. Bunch of door stuff. You know. Materialistic pillow. Lonnie Liston Smith stuff. Um, this has got all the innards. Peter Tosh. This is Lee Morgan. Uh, Fred McDowell. Black Sabbath. Uh, Mornings, like a psych record, John Prine. This is a really cool record, Santo and Johnny, if you ever see this. Really cool, it's got some, some really nice pedal steel action on it. Uh, Bootsy Collins, Deep Purple, Zombies. Um, a few Waylon Jennings records that are uh, not as easy to get. Mandrake Memorial, really good psych stuff. You know, Talking Heads. I got a whole box full of Talking Heads. I gotta find it. Uh, some King Crimson. Uh, this is a cool uh, Kong Ling and the Fabulous Echoes. It's kind of a cool thing. Um, so that's just kind of some stuff I pulled so you guys can see um, some of the stuff that's in here. Um, also, is going to show you. Hold on. Um, I usually only do records. Um, some some cassettes and stuff. But he had like all. He had everything. It was kind of an all or nothing deal. So we got a bunch of like real real tapes. And I do collect reel-to-reels at home, but you just never find any good ones. But there's a few good ones in here I'll show you. Cool, uh, 10 years after, Mama's and the Papa's kind of traffic. This is one I'm most excited about, James Gang Rides again, reel-to-reel. So cool. Grand Funk, Closer to Home. Band, Stage Fright, Spooky Tooth. Uh, it's just rock and roll. Uh, reel to reels, you just never find them. I never find anything like really good. Oh, this is actually I already have one of these American Beauty, so I'll probably be putting this in the shop. More Grand Funk, you know, Simon and Garfunkel, John Mayle. Oh, I didn't see this the first time. The Volunteers, pretty cool. That's the uh. Yeah, that's cool. And like, if you've never seen these before, um, they kind of come like this, hold on. And they have a label on them, just like a record would. So, um, that's if you have a real, real player, pretty cool stuff. There was a real, real player in here that's in good work and order. There's a ton of cassettes. I got a ton of eight tracks, which I normally don't do, but like I saw some really cool cyclones and stuff. Like, I mean, even like the cars and uh, count five psych record la woman pretty cool i mean uh the garage full of gear here's a picture of it i'm gonna go back to get the gear next week 
Um, I got some of it, but I wasn't able to get it all in the truck that I took. So I got to go back for more. So anyways, uh, but this is just a little bit of look inside. I haven't bought a huge collection like this in a little while, uh, but a little a look inside kind of what the process is like when I get one going through, just kind of picking out some things to put to make some money up front just to get some of that money back. And then the rest of it, you kind of play the long game with. You got to put that stuff out, sell it as it goes. You can't sell it all at once as much as I wish I could. So a lot of the stuff I'll end up putting out pretty cheap so I can um, can move it just because I don't like having a lot of inventory just sitting around. So anyways, thanks for taking a look. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, um, follow us on Instagram at Noble Records. And if you're in the area, come check us out. We're in Matthews. North Carolina. So all these crazy mono records here, I'm still.